Hi everyone. How's everybody doing today? Ooh, it is hot here. The vehicle is reading 33. So can you imagine what the humidity is out there? Yeah. The prairies are having a heat wave for this uh, middle of August. <laughs> Anyways, I have to go to Brandon because I have to go to Kenworth dealership for Sean. So it was either I had to get it done today or tomorrow. The road's a little bumpy because the grader came through. You can see how he did it. Oh, let's jump over to the right side of the road, Caroline. All right, so you may not stay up there because of the heat on the windshield. So I will uh, turn you on again if I see anything exciting that you would like to see. Yeah. drop you the mount did it won't stay on the windshield this is Kenworth that I need to go into so let's go here first and get this job done taking care of go up to the front office here you'll see Kenworth I'll be back All right, I made it home. <laughs> I didn't record me driving around Brandon because the mount wouldn't stay on the window and uh, it was it was busy. I thought it wasn't gonna be busy, but it was busy in, in the city. Um, hopefully the lighting isn't bad because the sun is setting. What time is it? Oh, it's eight o'clock already. The chickens should be in bed. Um, so yeah, the sun's setting. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing because if I had a sat over there, it would have been shining in my face. So I went to the Real Canadian Superstore. I said to Sean, I'm only going in for a few things, so it's okay, I can do it on my own. I came out with a lot more than a few things. Things were on sale and I wanted to put them in the pantry. So I did that. Um, where else did I go? I went to the bulk barn, so I'll add that on. And went to, I, I don't like shopping at Walmart, but I did go in for a few things. Went to Dollarama and Dollar Tree, so they'll all be on separate hauls. Yeah, maybe I'll do the bulk barn in with this at the end. So, yeah, I went in for a couple things. I think I had four things on my list. I got them. And all this. So the first thing is the, uh, the puppy large breed dried dog food. So RJ and Jameson will share that. It was $46.97. And I also bought two cases off the spring water. They were $2.99 each. I'll insert that right now. So there's the Imes dog food, puppy food. That was fun trying to carry that in. And the two cases of water that I got. Yeah. And uh, we are going to go down the list. Hopefully I have it all spread out in order here in front of me. So I did stock up on cereals because we don't have any cereal at all in the house. And some mornings I just like a bowl of cereal and Sean likes to take a box in the truck with him. So I bought a few different ones and he can pick and choose what he wants. He's not getting these ones though. He doesn't eat them anyway. I got my box of Weetabix and they were on sale for $2.97. So that was a good price for that big box of Weetabix. Next down my list, I should have got my glasses tightened when I was in there. Uh, vinegar, so pure white vinegar, big jug of vinegar, $2.49. I bought some Muesli Original, it's a cereal with nuts and all in it, I really like this. And this was $3.99, so still a good price for that, for a 50 gram box. Uh, granola. I needed some more granola. I like to put this in my yogurt and stuff, so I bought a box of granola. 
and this was $3.99. So yeah, their prices are good when you go to, to the uh, real Canadian Superstore. And that's a 400 gram box. So we got that one. What else? Ooh, my Kellogg's Mini Wheats. They had them back in. The strawberry flavor. So it was two boxes for two for nine. So I bought two, two for nine. Oh, everything's falling over on me here. Stay. Okay. I'll be back to drop my receipt. Can you help me there? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jameson's laying on the floor beside me. He's been a really, really, really good puppy. I had to crate him today. He's never been crated before. Um, I come home, no accidents, and uh, he held himself. Good boy. He's, he is a really good boy. All right, where were we? Mm -mm -mm -mm, mini wheats. Then I bought uh, some raisin bran. Now, I haven't tried this one before. Let me know if you guys have. It is... Um, Oats and honey, actually it says new right on it. Raisin bran oats and honey. And they were also two for nine dollars. Four fifty one each. I know Sean likes uh this as well, so he can have a box of that if he wants. He said he still had the box of my blueberry mini wheats. He hadn't opened it yet. Alright, so we got lots of cereal. What was that? Two, four, six. Six boxes of cereal and a box of granola. Showed you the vinegar, the mini wheats, raisin bran. Oh, I wanted some um, penne pasta. Where did I put it? Let me find it. Trying to make out what that noise is outside. Sounds like there's something flying overhead the house. Where's my penne pasta? What do we do with it? Oops, sorry, Max. I didn't know my, oh, ah, I'm stepping on dogs. Oh, it's right under my nose. So I was gonna buy the yellow pack one, but I looked at the size and it was half the size of this for like half the price, right? No, more than half the price. So I bought the Unico penne pasta, 900 grams. And this was $2.99. We were out of that. Okay. It, does, it really does sound like a helicopter or something. Catalina, we need a Catalina dressing. Um, I just grabbed the craft. It was busy down that aisle, so once I seen it, I just grabbed it. I do like the calorie-wise one. $3.79. The President's Choice was probably cheaper, but... The grocery store was busy today. I think everybody else had the same idea as me. Uh, dairy. So this would be, I believe, my... my. Uh, it's really weird noise. Anyway, I'm distracted by it. Sorry. Activia, my uh, yogurts. And these ones look tasty. We've got... Uh, three mango, three blueberry, three strawberry, and three peach. Yeah, so you get a 12 pack, and they were, I have to keep putting this down. They were, dairy, 546. I bought some orange juice. I saw it right beside me. I always just buy the PC one. If, I, if I'm not going to Costco, then I grab this one. But if we're going to Costco, I wait and grab the Costco one. But I don't know when we're going back to Winnipeg. So that is a 2.5 liter. And it was $5.49 with a three cent environmental fee. I bought more of this cheese because I love it. You guys have to try it if you haven't. It is so good on everything. I put it in the lasagna last week and it just gave it that little extra flavor. Makes great grilled cheese, great in a hamburger, just great all around. Smoke flavored cheddar. And it's, uh, you know how the bags are, the 320. It's 679, but I love it. So I'm gonna pay the 679. Uh, the Armstrong cheeses were on sale. They were on sale for 
$8.49 each, but they are the 600 gram ones. So I bought old. I got, this is one we haven't tried before. It's new. Oh, darn. It's got jalapeno in it. I never look at that. Shauna like this one. Mexi I just saw Mexican Fiesta. <laughs> Marble jalapeno cheddar. Yeah. Sean, Sean can have this one. Oh, Caroline. And Havarti. I like Havarti. We got that. Oh, maybe it's one of the farmers out in the fields. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Beatrice Milk, $5.58. I always just buy a big jug off, uh, I drink it. Four liter, 1% milk, believe it or not. Caroline goes through this on her own. <laughs> so yeah, $5.49 for the milk. I got some Velveeta cheese slices. They were on for $4.49. And... Uh, yeah, no artificial flavors or colors made with real milk. There's 22 slices in it. So I just grabbed that for 49. So that's a lot of cheese. Um, oh, they're right here. So I got two of the hell of a good dips. I actually like these. Uh, I got the French onion and I got a dill pickle for Sean. So we can, you know, dip in chips or veggies. Yeah, that's got to be a farmer out. That's all I saw on the way home. They're all cutting their fields today. I bought some pizzas just because I like these in the freezer. When I'm home alone and I don't feel like cooking, these are a good little meal for me. Uh, this one is bacon, red onion, and green onions. And I always usually throw on some extras to it. These were on sale for $3.47 each. So I got two of the bacon. There weren't too many flavors to choose from. Everybody, I guess, had grabbed them. So yeah, $3.47. Uh, I grabbed some hash browns. Like I said, we're not going to Costco. So I just grabbed this little thing of um, hash browns and that was four dollars and 49 cents they did have the uh what's the name brand one mccain's was it yeah and it was um like six something so this was two dollars cheaper it's probably all made at the same place oh what yeah what's going what is flat bread little, little <laughs> flat bread chicken I got these as well. They were on sale. Chicken, bacon, and caramelized onion flatbread. These little pizzas are delicious. And they were two for $8, so $4 each. It even shows you on the back that you could do them in the uh, on the barbecue. So, yeah, I just grabbed two of the same flavor. What are you doing? Hey, he stole the blanket. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Where are we? No name. Patty's 449. The chicken. Oh, peas and carrots. I grabbed two of these because I'm making, uh, I feed it to all the animals, some rice, some peas and carrots. You know, the nights that I don't have chicken or something cooked. And so I bought two big bags of these. They are the two kg bags. And they were $4.99 or two for eight. And that's why I grabbed two. Because my other veggies are fine. So two of those. Let me just go grab that blanket off of him. Stop. Okay. He's in puppy chew stage. He put a hole in it, but that's okay. It's just the little Dollarama blankets I have over the bench for the dogs. RJ likes to sit there and yeah but I have to scold him now so he knows not to touch. All right, so we did the peas and carrots. Strudels, they didn't have the berry one that I always buy, but they had strawberries. So I'm like, yeah, I'll have the strawberry ones. They were $3.99. All this stuff is melting or defrosting, not melting. Um, all right, we've got you guys. I'll get this in the freezer. I bought some broccoli slaw. It was 30% off. 
and it's best before August 19th, that's fine because oh, I'm gonna make it up and eat it. So I paid regular $4, take a dollar 20 off. So two, whatever. I'm tired. So about that? I'm gonna make that tonight. I haven't eaten yet. I bought uh, tomatoes on the vine. There's six in there. Those were $4. I like these on a sandwich or a burger, whatever we're having. Bananas. I buy the greenest I can find because they turn color so fast. They were $1.50 and what did I get? Six bananas. I'm happy with this grocery haul. What are you trying to do? You know what he can do? He can open the screen door and go out. And then he cries because he wants back in. Oh, corn on the cob was 33 cents. It was a limit of four. Now, the stuff that we got off the uh, farmer on the weekend, it was, um, it was really good, but it also tasted very, what do you call it? Like the ground? <laughs> ah, there's a word for it. Anyway, we bought, I bought four of these. Earthy, that's the word. It tasted earthy. And this one smells earthy, but we're gonna give this one a try. So I got four corn on the cob, totaling $1.50. Do you remember I paid $1.20 each? My last shop? Yeah. This is why I like to go into the city and do a big shop. So they were $1.50. No, hold on. Sorry, they were $1.32. $1.32 for four corn. And I paid almost that for just one. Yeah. Uh, breakfast sausages. These were also marked down and I'm fine with buying marked down stuff. Uh, the best before is August 17, which I believe, is that today? Anyway, I put them in the freezer, so there's nothing wrong with them. So I got two of them. So they were $7 each and then take, uh, two 20 off. So yeah, there's one, there's two. And I will split these up because one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's six on each side. So I'm going to get four breakfasts out of these two. The Janes were on sale. They had the chicken strips or the chicken burgers or the chicken nuggets. I prefer the strips because you can put these in a wrap as well. They were on sale for $5.99 and it was a limit of four. A lot of people were buying them. I just bought the one because I'm the only one that eats them. Ground beef was on sale. It was, it doesn't tell you what it was. Let's see on here. I think it was three something a kilo, whatever, however they do it. Anyway, I paid $16.16. .16 for a nice big chunk. So I'll split that up and put it in the freezer too. It's fresh ground beef. I know I got some in the freezer anyway, that's just to add in. Uh, so now we're getting into the bakery. So I bought more of these cause I know we got hamburgers in the freezer. These ones are different though. These are the multi-grain buns and the other ones I believe are just whole wheat that I bought. But you know, the little uh, thins, I love my hamburgers in these. So these were $4.49 for a six, for no, an eight pack, sorry. These are really good if you don't want like a lot of bun. Rye bread's gone up in price, but I love it. Um, this was $5.49. So another thing that we like to grab at Costco, yeah, I, I don't know when my next, I'm not going until hmm, November, so I might have to make a trip before that. I'm not going to the hospital till then. Uh, these uh, Valangio white bread, they call it, they were 350, no, sorry, two, yeah, two at 350, so $7. So I just grabbed those, two of them. Sean can take one. He said it's right. It's getting low. And I don't think I have any more in the freezer. So I grabbed two of those. And I did grab two um, barbecue chickens. They are still $9.99. They look like. So yeah, 
a fully cooked barbecue chicken, $9.99, cheaper than buying a chicken and cooking it yourself. So I've already, uh, I broke into this one there because as soon as I came home, I fed the animals. So I'll, I'm going to uh, debone all this and put it in the freezer too for myself and the animals. All right, um, how come I didn't, didn't show the, I got the bananas. How come I didn't get my tomatoes? Oh yeah, my pears. I bought some Bartlett pears. What did I get? I bought four. And these four Bartlett pears cost $5.44. Now I was gonna grab some apples. Apples are up to $9 a bag. And we actually have an apple tree out back. We have four apples we've brought in and they're delicious. So I'm gonna go out and pick apples off the tree. When Sean's home on the weekend, I'll get the ladder out and send him up there to get them. Yeah, so with taxes, this was $279.40. So I was about $20 away from the 300. So I don't know what the $300 giveaway was today, but um, hopefully it wasn't something that I regret not adding another $20 on for. Yeah, anyways, so that is it. Um, my total points that I earned, does it tell you? No, it just tells you them. I got a 400, a 40, 100, a 400, a 400, a 700, and a 1,000. Got a lot of points. Yeah. So collect those optimum points. It really helps. And then you get a... Thank you for shopping at the Super Center. Please fill in our survey. So you do a little survey there and um, yeah. Could win some money. Okay, let me just go and grab the bulk barn because it's not very much. And I'll show you as that. And then I gotta get all this put away. I gotta get the chickens out. All right, so this is what we bought at the bulk barn. Uh, no. No, 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 no. So I in, I really went in for some powdered buttermilk. Um, I keep forgetting to go and grab it because I want to be making some breads. And this is what we got. It's a new particular order. I had to write on them so I would know what I bought. <laughs> this was... Um, I don't know. Now I don't even understand my own writing. Well, there's my buttermilk. Okay, I bought this little bag of buttermilk because I know what that is. And my buttermilk was $4.78. So a lot cheaper than buying a carton of buttermilk and not using it all. This does the same thing. So we got that. Uh, what flower was this? I put SL flower. Hold on. One of them, I don't want to spill this. Come on, you. Bear with me. All right, I bought two flowers. Okay, this is self rising. I should have put SR flower and I put SL. Okay. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back. I had to get some water. I was about to choke. My throat has been so sore since all that smoke has blown in. And it was nice this morning, blue skies. It's back out there. It blew in again. All right, so here we go. Caroline's organized. So I guess she, yeah, so self rising flower and it's just like a white flower and apparently i have almost 0 0.960 kilos i paid 274 for that a self rising flower this one was wheat whole wheat bread flour and that one was only two dollars and 21 cents 
I probably needed to buy more, but I'm experimenting, so that'll do me for now. I showed you my buttermilk. That was $4.78. That is... I don't even know how much I have. Anyway, that's my little bag of buttermilk. What I should have bought was some more glass jars, but I think I have some. Um... What did I buy for five fifty-seven in here? Oh, let me look. Let me pull everything out. Sneak peek. It's dangerous going into that store. You gotta avoid the middle aisles, the candy. You must avoid the candy. <laughs> I went in here before I went to the grocery store also. All right, raisins. So these are Sultana raisins that I bought. Sultana raisins. That was $3.07, which was really good for that. You could make your own trail mix. And then I bought cranberries, dried cranberries. And that was $3.74. Look at how nice and fresh they look. So bought cranberries. Had to get me some candy corn because you know it's that time of year. <laughs> it's on its way. That little bag of candy corn was three dollars and eighty-seven cents, and I didn't eat any on the way home. All right, so then my five dollars and fifty-seven cents was for my cranberry granola. So that was $5.57, and what did I pay for that other granola from the grocery store? What did I do with the receipt? Do you guys see it? <laughs> right here. Nope, that's both bar. Anyway, yeah, so this other granola was five something, right? So I think I did better. I did better buying this at the grocery store than I did buying this at the bulk barn. So you kind of got to know your prices and what it is you're looking for. Cause I think that was five something, wasn't it? Yeah, or if I, knew, if I had my bill, I would tell you. Hold on. I can see the sun's really starting to go down. Okay, so I should have looked this up before I turned the camera back on. Um, granola. Oh, okay, so this was $3.99, $3.99, remember that? And this one was five fifty-seven. Do you see the difference? So usually I don't find it in the grocery store, and when I seen it, I grabbed it. But now I know. Do not buy it at the bulk barn because that was better value. Yeah. So in the bulk barn, my total was thirty-one fifty-nine with taxes. I forgot to show you guys my cute little bear that I bought at Bulk Barn. I used to have one of these and they work great. They're fantastic. And uh, I seen it, so I grabbed one. Um, so you just throw this into your brown sugar. It says here at the top, uh, never have hard brown sugar again. And it's the brown sugar bear. And then on the back, it says uh, how to use. Keep baked goods, brown sugar, Fresh herbs, marshmallows, and even dried fruit soft and moist. Keep pet treats soft and flavorable. Soak in clean water for 20 minutes and pack dry. Place on top of food and seal container. Yeah, so that was $4.19. What's the matter? I got a cat meowing at, a, at Jameson. <laughs> Anyway, that's my groceries. Yes. So let me go put all this away. And uh, I'm not even going to worry about all this meat until tomorrow. It's good in the fridge. And I will probably do my Dollarama and my Dollar Tree hauls tomorrow. Yes. And a small Walmart one that I have. All right. Take care. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now. We have five eggs for the week. So that was Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This one I got this morning. 
So we're gonna eat these on the weekend when Sean is home. Yippee! I think only one is lame.